This is Fitness Blender's cool down and full body stretch. In this workout, we're going to be doing a short two minute cool down, followed by 10 minutes of a total body stretching routine. Now, though you don't need any exercise equipment for this routine, an exercise mat does come in handy. Let's go ahead and get started with that cool down. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. We're going to start off with just a regular jumping jack, 30 seconds. And you got just about five seconds left. And go ahead and let it relax. We're gonna switch off to jogging in place. Bring that heart rate down just a little bit more. And again, just about five seconds left. And go ahead and let it relax. We're gonna switch up to standing toe touch kicks. So bring that heart rate down just a little bit more. You don't wanna be pushing as much effort into this as you were for those uh, that jogging in place. You wanna bring that heart rate down just a little bit more. So keep that pace a little bit slower. So you bring that effort down just a little bit more. And we're almost done, about five seconds left. And go ahead and let it relax. We're gonna switch to side lunges next. So again, you wanna bring that heart rate level down just a little bit more. Keep that pace nice and slow, just whatever you need to, to keep that heart rate under control. Keep it nice and low, just slowly working that heart rate down as you go through. And we're almost done, just about five seconds left. And we have one more to do before we start our stretches. And go ahead and let it relax, moving on to the last one. This is a walking arm stretch. So just keep those feet moving. You don't have to do like a high march or anything, just keep those feet moving, shuffling back and forth. And then you want those arms to do a nice stretch motion. So stretch them up over your head, trying to get those elbows back behind your chest as far as you possibly can. So stretching that chest out, then nice and slow back up. Just whatever you wanna do, just to open those shoulders up a little bit. And we've got about five seconds left. And go ahead and let it relax. All right, we're gonna be doing our standing stretches next. Go ahead and get ready. And begin, we're gonna start off with just a regular straight leg hang. 15 seconds for each one of these. Now with the straight leg hang, you wanna keep those knees locked out. Slowly stretch over forward, trying to stretch out of those toes, never push it. Just trying to get a nice stretch on that hamstring. And go ahead and let it relax. We're gonna move on to the next one. Stand up for the overhead tricep extension. You can bring that left hand up behind your head, reach back towards that left shoulder, and then with that right hand, grab that elbow and pull back and across behind your head. Just trying to stretch that shoulder and the outside of that lat just a little bit. Now we're almost done. And go ahead and let it relax. We're gonna switch arms, do the same thing on the other side. So bring that right hand up behind your head, reach back towards that right shoulder, and then with that left hand, grab that elbow and pull across. And just about five seconds left. Go ahead and let that one relax and move on to the next, the standing quad stretch. Bring one leg back up behind you, holding it with one hand or the other hand, doesn't really matter. Pull that heel to your butt and stretch that thigh back behind you, pushing that knee back behind you. Should feel a stretch to the front of that thigh, the front of that hip, and a little bit into the lower abdominal muscles. And we're almost done. Go ahead and let it relax. We're gonna switch sides, same thing on that opposite leg. Bring that heel up to that butt, shove that knee back behind you. Feel that stretch to the front of that thigh, the front of that hip, and those lower abdominal muscles. And just a little bit longer, about five seconds. 
And go ahead and let that relax. We're going to move on to the next one, the wall chest stretch. So go find an open wall, place that hand on it, fingers facing back behind you. Then stretch that chest in the opposite direction, trying to pull that shoulder back around, almost like you're trying to touch it back to that hand. Then look across that opposite shoulder. And we're almost done. And go ahead and let that one relax. We're going to switch sides. Same thing on that opposite arm. And just about five seconds left. Go ahead and let it relax. We're going to switch on to the next one, the inside thigh stretch. You're going to spread those feet really nice and wide apart. Keep one foot facing forward. The other one, you're going to turn off to the side. That foot, you're going to bend that knee of that leg. The other leg stays straight. Lean back towards that straight leg. You should feel a nice stretch to the inside of that thigh. And go ahead and let it relax. We're going to switch legs. So just turn that opposite foot out, bend that knee, and then straighten that opposite leg. Leaning back towards that straight leg again. If you want to get a little extra stretch, try to shove that hip of that straight leg down a little bit further. Should intensify that stretch on that inside thigh. And just about five seconds left. And go ahead and let it relax. All right, let's move on to the next one, the wall shoulder stretch. So both hands are going to go up on the wall just above head height. Press that chest and head down towards the base of the wall, really trying to get those arms back behind you as far as you possibly can. Now you also want to have one foot in front of you just for a little bit of support, though you're not really focusing on stretching those legs at all, you do want to actually uh, switch them out every once in a while. And we've got just about five seconds left. And let it relax. Alright, let's go ahead and move on to the next section, the mat stretches. Go ahead and get ready. And let's begin with the prone calf stretch. So you're down in kind of a push-up position. One leg is going to be out extended, the other leg you're going to actually lift up off the ground. doesn't really matter where it goes just as long as it's out of the way. Then press that heel down towards the ground as hard as you possibly can, getting that calf to stretch out. And about five seconds left. And go ahead and switch sides. Same thing on the opposite leg. Press that heel down to the ground, keep that leg nice and straight. Five seconds left. And go ahead and let it relax. Go ahead and sit on your butt. Bring your right arm up, your left arm across your chest. We're going to start by stretching that left arm first. Slowly grab that elbow, pull it across in front of your chest. You're going to feel a stretch to the back of your shoulder, a little bit into your deltoid, the top of that shoulder as well. Just keep that back nice and straight up and down. And go ahead and switch those arms. Do the same exact motion on the other side. Grab that elbow, pull that shoulder across, trying to keep that arm as straight, flat against your chest as possible. Trying to get that back of that shoulder, that rhomboid, and that deltoid to stretch out. And go ahead and let it relax. We're going to move on to the next one, the butterfly stretch. Bring those, so those soles of those feet together really nice and close. Bring them in towards that groin as close as you can. And then lay those legs off to the side using the outside of those thighs to actually pull those knees down towards the ground. You should feel a nice stretch to the inside of that groin. And just about five seconds left. And let it relax. All right, we're going to move on to the three-way hamstring stretch, starting with that right leg first. Our first position, one leg's kicked off to the side, about a 45-degree angle. And then stretch that arm over top of that head, get a nice stretch on that outside oblique as well. All right, we're almost done. Go ahead and let it relax. We'll move to position two. That same leg is going to come straight out in front of your hips this time. Both arms going straight down to the same foot. Keep that leg nice and straight. Try to round those shoulders over as best you can. And go ahead and let that relax. Now we're moving to the third position. That leg's going to come across in front of your hips just a little bit. The other leg's going to wrap over top. Bring that opposite arm to the outside of the opposite leg, stretching down, rolling those shoulders over as much as you can. You want to feel it stretch in your back as well as that hamstring. Now let's go ahead and start back over with position one on that left leg this time. And just about five seconds left. Now let's move to position two. That leg comes straight out in front of those hips. Stretch down with both legs. Make sure that opposite leg is actually rolled off to the side. You don't want to actually engage that, that right leg this time. And let's go ahead and move on to that third position, that last one. Bring that leg across in front of those hips. Wrap the other leg over top, using that opposite arm to stretch down to the outside of that leg. 
10, just about five seconds left. We're almost done. And go ahead and let it relax. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. You're gonna lay flat on your back for this one. This is a supine torso twist stretch. You're gonna bring both those knees off to one side. Keep those shoulders flat against the ground and look off to the opposite direction of those knees. Now you're trying to get as much of a rotation to that torso as you possibly can without actually lifting those shoulders up off the ground and getting those knees as close to the ground as possible. Let's go ahead and switch sides. We're going to do the same thing on that opposite side. And we got just about five seconds left. And go ahead and let it relax. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next one, the deep glute stretch. Now you're gonna be holding on to that left leg, but you're actually gonna be stretching that right leg. So that right leg is gonna come up over top of that left knee. Grab a hold behind that left thigh, only behind that left thigh, don't grab that shin. And nice and slow, pull that leg back in as close as is comfortable, and you should feel it tighten up in that uh, right glute, that right butt muscle. Now go ahead and switch sides. We do the same thing on that opposite leg. And we got just about five seconds left. And go ahead and let it relax. We're gonna move on to the next one, the cobra stretch. You're gonna flip over onto your stomach for this one. You're gonna place those hands down by the base of that rib cage, press into the palm of that hand, arch that back up really nice and high. You wanna feel this stretch all the way through those abdominal muscles into the front of that hip flexor. Just keep stretching back as far as you can, as far as is comfortable. And just about five seconds left. And go ahead and let it relax. We're moving back into the shell stretch next. Back onto those knees, sit back onto those heels. Round that back as much as you can. Then slide those hands down by those knees. Pressing in with the palm of your hand. Really shove those shoulders down towards those hips. Rounding that back as much as you possibly can. And we're almost done. Just about five seconds left. And let it relax. Good job. You just finished one of Fitness Blender's cool down and full body stretch routines.